How's it going everyone? Jesse Slamarella here. Uh, I'm about to do an entire video of a extreme uh, metal on my non-extreme metal CD collection. So <laughs> excuse this and I apologize, but uh, yeah, welcome to number six. So let's just get started. We're going to be talking about that today. So if you don't like them, Deuces, I'll see you in another video. If you do, stay uh, stay with me. First up is Cradle of Filth, The Principle of Evil Made Flesh on Jewel Case. This is not the reissue on Digipack, because fuck that. That's the back. the CD and back of the booklet, both with the satanic goat head pentagram shit there. Very cool. Uh, see, now this, this was back when Cradle of Filth was actually black metal. Uh, before they just became extreme metal with, you know, touches of black metal and corpse paint. But uh, this... This is good stuff here, for sure. And um, if you like this, go check out their Total Fucking Darkness demo, if you can find it on YouTube or whatever. That's also really, really good actual black metal. Next is their second album, Dusk in their, and Her Embrace. Sorry. It's the back. Wow, that's creepy, eh? Look at her face. <laughs> <clears throat> the inside disc. It's kind of weird that it's, you know, that color and whatever, but, you know. Whatever. Sometimes you get vinyls that are weird colors that don't match the artwork at all, too, so. I guess that's maintaining that tradition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this is also pretty much legit black metal as well. There's more melodic stuff in this one, and there's a little bit more kind of leaning away from actual black metal, but it's also pretty decent. Next is their uh, Cruelty and the Beast. I don't know if this is an album or not. Probably an album. I was going to say EP, but I think the next one's actually the EP. But yeah. Cruelty and the Beast. Front side, this is the back side here. Once again, really random art color work, but uh, that's the CD. That's uh, the in inner part there. So, I don't know, I guess the blue kind of makes sense when you look at that, but not the rest of it because it's all like brown and red and black. So, anyways, this is also pretty decent. Uh, it's now it's even leaning more away from black metal and just leaning towards just kind of ex blackened extreme metal. Next, uh, probably one of their best releases I've ever heard. This is from Cradle to Enslave. This is the back. Their faces are kind of weird and distorted. That guy kind of looks like a ghoul from Fallout. And then they get all bloody and shit on the inside. Pretty cool. Don't mind that. That's for sure. Sleepless is such a good song. I love that. Uh, of dark blood and fucking death comes ripping from the cradle to enslave. Like, literally some of their best work right there in an, a small little EP. Yep. And then, after that, they kind of start going downhill really quickly. Because um, then they start getting mainstream. This is Midian. Uh, I got an advanced CD for promotional use only, but when I got it from The Zone in Bowmanville back in the day, which is a used slash new CD store, uh, anyone who went there knows Ken. Ken Masters, he's fucking awesome. Really big guy, but 
even bigger heart. Loved that guy. Got a few pics of me and him on my Facebook. Chilling right in front of the uh, heavy metal section, of course. You can't see the fucking title tracks there. That's going to pop right off because I broke a tab, but I can fix that. It's all good. It's the inside of the CD. And once again, it says an advanced CD. So I don't even think I was supposed to get this, but whatever. This is a cool limited, clearly limited edition since whatever. Like there's no inner artwork at all, you know. But uh, yeah, so that's really the only major cool thing about this besides, you know. But uh, yeah, this has got the song that everyone fucking knows with these guys. Her Ghost in the Fog. It's good. Like, you know, I mean, when I first got into these guys, I thought they were goddamn amazing. And um, that was one of the very first songs I heard by them. Uh, Cthulhu Dawn's better, though. Lord Abortion is also way better. Tearing the Veil from Grace. Yeah, Saffron's Curse is all right. But, yeah. This is no longer black metal at this point. Next up is a compilation. This is uh, Bittersweet to Suck You By. I think that's a really fucking hilarious title. If you don't get it, then um, you're too young for this, bro. But, uh, oh, got some demon boobies there. I don't know what the fuck that's about. I don't know why someone punched a hole in that. Fuck you for doing that, but yeah. Uh, pretty much if you've got everything else by them before this, you've got everything that is on this disc. I think there might be one, maybe two songs on here that might not have been on their previous stuff, but I don't care enough to really figure out which those are for this video. So. Back in the day, I just wanted to grab everything up by them, so that ended up in my collection. Same with this. This is kind of like a, a best of, you know, whatever. This is Lovecraft and Witch Hearts. Double disc. Yeah. Uh, basically, the only reason to get this thing is for the remixes of all the different songs and um, Hallowed Be Thy Name. That's really the only reason I got this was because of that song, Hallowed Be Thy Name. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's just a cover. It's not even an original. But uh, it was good enough for me to pick it up and spend money on a two-disc thing full of shit that I didn't even need to get anyway. So there's that. Next up... Um, this might have been the very, very first Cradle of Filth CD I got back when I was 18 or 19, living at my girlfriend's place at the time. Um, yeah, this uh, this was back when I thought this was black metal. This is what I thought black metal was back then. <laughs> uh, yeah, entry level black metal for Nubians. Complete. Plebian Nubians, but uh, no, it's 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 good. Um, like my favorite song off of here was "An Enemy Led the Tempest." S Serpent Tongue was also good. Uh, Be my mannequin was good, which is actually just called mannequin. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's all right. It's a good album, I guess. It's good if you haven't listened to a whole bunch of actual black metal. <laughs> Next up, they started getting. Ridiculously mainstream at this point. Uh, this is an amphetamine. I think even fans of Cradle of Filth took a shit on this album. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Gilded Cunt was alright. Uh, Nemesis was pretty good. Uh, the shirt that I'm wearing is actually from Nemesis. The back print uh, says, uh, Black is my heart. It's pretty fucking emo. But, yeah, um, Medusa and Hemlock, Coffin Fodder, English Fire... Filthy Little Secrets, painting flowers white never suited my palette, so don't paint them fucking white then, Jesus. Um, don't know if I showed you the inside, but here's the inside. I don't know why every Cradle Fill album has a new symbol. It's like, hey, new album, new symbol, cool. I don't know, I guess. But, uh, yeah, um, it's alright. 
not amazing. Not anything super worth your money for, I guess. Uh, next is Cradle of Filth's Thornography. Now, this is so mainstream that it was actually good. Now, what I mean by that, it had like other types of metal thrown in here besides like black and extreme metal and just extreme metal. It had like some kind of groovy hooks. It had uh, da, 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 the the Byronic Man featured uh, Vil Velo of him. So that's kind of cool because I like him. Uh, Dirge Inferno, my sister is obsessed with that song. Uh, Tonight in Flames is over. Libertina Grimm's actually a fantastic song. I am the Thorns, decent. Uh, fetus of a new get, of a new day, kicking. Not bad. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. If you want just some ridiculously mainstream Cradle of Filth, check this album out. If you are someone who's looking to get into black metal, that's just just barely wants to even touch your toes in the pool. Check this out and just kind of go backwards in Cradle of Filth's discography until you get to Principle of Principle of Evil Made Flesh, and then go listen to some Mayhem. Go listen to some Mayhem and fucking Dark Throne and uh yeah, because that's where it shits at. Next is Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder. I don't get that saying at all. I'm sure it means something really, you know cool and significant but i don't really give a fuck weird ass artwork some dude with like five heads i don't know they're trying to be brutal death metal all of a sudden uh yeah that's back there's danny filth clutching some baby like he's gonna eat it or some shit this dude's got a fucking hand coming out of his severed cranium oh these other guys look bleak and like why the fuck did i choose to ever be in this band look on their face <laughs> All right, here's the inside. Crazy looking artwork here. Uh, big bad wolf and a couple of red riding hoods. He's gonna make their bitches. He's gonna make them suck his big wolf cock. Uh, I don't know. There's some decent songs on here, I guess. Shat out of hell, just because that's a funny title and you know, whatever. Uh, a song that I thought was called Tiffigies. But it's actually to Fogues, I guess. Uh, but that's an alright song. Honey and Sulfur, I guess. Corpse Flower. Just because it sounds kind of cool. But, um, yeah, there's a there's a special edition you can get that's, that's sort of like a fucking giant digipack. But fuck that. I don't know. I didn't even really care too much at this point. I was just getting them just to be a completist with my collection, and I just realized why. Why, if I'm not enjoying the music, do I keep buying these things? Like, next we have um, Darkly Darkly Venus Aversa. It's uh, the same, same shit, different pile. Um, I think Doug Bradley, who played Pinhead, is actually on this, so that's at least a step up in bonus points, because I fucking love horror movies. There's the front cover. Here's the back cover. Here's the um, fucking ridiculous fold-out bullshit here. And then another reason why I don't get uh, digipacks. You see this shit here with the booklet in it? This could rip and then the booklet can fall out forever and you'll never be able to fix it. I got a uh, sticker in there too. Stuck it in the back. So I'll never have to see it again. No, I don't know. I like to keep shit all together and keep all the stickers and bonus shit that comes with them. It's basically a bonus couple of bonus songs with this super ridiculous digipack here um pardon me Lilith Immaculate probably the only good song on here and um Mistress from the Sucking Pit kind of funny I don't know honestly disc 2 is the best part of this whole thing like the bonus tracks Beast of Extermination Truth and Truth and Agony Mistress from the Sucking Pit and Behind the Jagged Mountain the rest of the album just kind of is if you've heard any of the last four Cradle of Filth albums, you've heard this pretty much it's just recycled bullshit recycled riffs, recycled lyrics, recycled fucking Danny Filth, crow squawking vocals uh, yeah um, uh, yeah, I don't know I'm trying to maybe sell this for 
eight bucks, eight bucks Canadian per CD, or you can just fucking here you go, take this entire stack for a hundred bucks Canadian and get the fuck out of my face, cause yeah, I don't know, I just I don't, know. I don't listen to it anymore. They're all right. Um, Butcher Babies and Cradle of Filth came to Toronto um, this week and. The wife was hoping to go see it. I don't really give a shit about Cradle of Filth anymore. Butcher Babies are pretty decent. Uh, you know, the, the the front women aren't too hard on the eyes. And um, the guitarist seems to know what the fuck he's doing. So they're decent. They're a shit ton better than Cradle of Filth in my opinion. But yeah. um, That's it. I'm good. Uh, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you... Enjoy this and me ripping Cradle of Filth a new one. <laughs> uh, until next time, my friends, stay sick.